<laughs> well, now it's time for our special guests, Aline Cooperman, Samantha Fishbean, and Jordana Abraham are the co-founders of Betches Media, a multi-platform company dedicated to millennial women. Betches has taken over the digital world with a strong social media presence that encourages women to experience comedy and empowerment in an honest environment. Today, the Betches are here to discuss their latest book, When's Happy Hour, a guide on how to thrive in a professional environment and advance their career. Everyone, please give a warm Bill Brunch welcome to Aline, Samantha, and Jordana! You guys, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. How are you today? Great. Good. Good. Um, so we're really excited to talk about your book. Um, will you share with us a little inspiration behind, behind When's Happy Hour? Um, yeah, so, I mean, we've been giving advice since we started 2011. College girls have been emailing us about dating advice and all of that. Um, over the last couple years, maybe more recently, like one year, um, we were getting an influx of emails about career advice and what you, how to ask for a raise and all everything in between. So we were like, maybe this is a good time because we also feel like we can give some career advice where we are in our lives. Um, we've been building our company for seven years mm -hmm. and um, we've recently hired like 14 employees we have full time and a bunch of freelance staff. So we think that we, had some experience with it. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, it, words just flew out. <laughs> yeah, and, and so many celebrities have praised the book. You have like references from like Kelly Ripa, Michelle Wolf, Whitney Cummings. Yeah. Like, doesn't that feel so great like to think about where you guys have come from and your journey? Yes, it's, they definitely were not endorsing our first book. <laughs> but yeah, it's really amazing it, yes. looking back on how far we've come. What are some of the tips that you give in this book for advancing millennial women's careers? We give you tips basically on everything from perfecting your resume to figuring out what you want to do in general with your life or how to leave a job that you just don't feel passionate about. We really run like through the whole career process. What's the resume tip? Can we what? share one now? Do you have a good resume tip? Let me yeah. take, take off your childhood email. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Like no pets lover 89, like that's yeah. gotta go. <laughs> don't write about your high school babysitting job. Okay, yeah. yes. okay, those are good. Um, yeah. I saw that there uh, is maybe a quote from Helen from Bridesmaids, or like yes. you, how, because she's literally one of my favorite characters in movies. So, so yeah. what's the advice that you give through her? Um, so that quote was referencing um, how people, you may start a job or you may start a career path that you think is for you, but you're actually, you grow and change throughout mm -hmm. all of your experiences. So we took the quote of her where she's like, oh, like you're growing, that means you're changing. <laughs> no, I think it does mean the same thing. <laughs> I love her. She's yeah. so condescending and awesome. Yeah, <laughs> she's the best. Can you tell us how Bedges started? Um, so we started when we were all in college together. We actually grew up together and went to the same middle school, high school, and everything. Wow, middle and school and high school. You yeah. guys really yeah. have stuck no, together. Yeah. Wait, where are you guys from? Long Island. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we were all in college together and we were living together our senior year and we were kind of just bored one night and <laughs> we ended up making a blog that was called Betches Love This Site. <laughs> and... It like we showed it to one friend who posted it on her friend or her sister's Facebook wall, and then it just went viral, kind of. And we kept doing it, and we got a book deal after we graduated, and then seven years later, here, here we are. are. That <laughs> yeah. is so crazy. Like I remember when it was just the blog, mm -hmm. and I would read it in high school, and I remember the Betch list, yeah, yes. and like oh. all of those things. And I remember like emailing in writing supplements, that, and you guys didn't answer as fast. <laughs> And like the tone of the of the blog at that mm -hmm. point though is I feel different from how it is now. Like I think it was a little yeah. meaner. Like it was like a little <laughs> more like it's still snarky and like definitely yeah. has like an empowerment feel now. Mm -hmm. But like I just felt like how did that tonally like evolve? Was that intentional? So in the beginning we were really going for more like dark satire. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it was and I think at the time like the the culture was a little bit less PC, so you could kind of say things that you know maybe you couldn't say now. Yeah. Um, but also we as people have evolved and grown up and- Growing the, and changing. Grow, exactly. Growing and changing. Yeah. So the type of content that we focus on and the way we say things is a little bit more 
mature. Right, right. But, yeah. also, yeah. Oh. but also as we grew, like the audience got bigger, mm -hmm. it's a lot harder to keep a very satirical voice because most people don't get it and mm -hmm. don't realize that we're really, we're kidding, first of all, <laughs> and that it's, that we're talking about ourselves, like ourselves included in the joke. So now that we're bigger, um, and as Sammy said, we've grown, we, we don't really relate to what we've written in the past. Right. Mm -hmm. But it was also a way you guys, which I liked about it, because I knew it best just in college, was um, to combat that frat tire, those, those yeah. false uh, barstool sports kind of misogynistic websites that were growing. You guys grew Betches at like the alternative, which was like, let's the female perspective, let's mm -hmm. be funny, let's be sarcastic, which I appreciate. Was, that's always an, a goal, right, of yours? Right, yeah, for sure. I think Tucker Max was really big yeah. um, at the time when we were in college, and there was, like, there was this glorified kind of frat bro um, and no one was talking about a female equivalent or kind of like that a, gr that a girl could be engaged in activities that weren't necessarily like appropriate. <coughs> and it, this really gave us an outlet to kind of comment on them and make fun of them, but also like we were involved in them, so make yeah. fun of ourselves as well. So um, I have a seven year old company, multi platform female media brand as well, <laughs> so we should chat. But also, um, <laughs> you know, one question I get asked a lot is, do you guys plan to grow with the brand as your audience ages, or do you always want it to be this brand that's like for young women, mm -hmm. up and coming professionals, and cater to a younger generation? Well, it's funny because like our con like we said, like our content has evolved, it's become more mature, and we're writing about things now that we would never have written about like when we were in college. So we're writing about things like weddings and uh, bridal bridal problems and like <laughs> work yet? and having a career. Not, not, <laughs> not babies, babies yet. Not babies yet. Yeah. Yeah. Have okay. children yet. <laughs> but, to say. It right. happened in my company though, so watch out. Yeah. <laughs> but we're fortunate that our audience has grown with us, so we kind of feel like anything that we're kind of where we're kind of telling it as it is and being raw and honest, like it doesn't matter if in college it was pre games and right. going out and things like that. And now it's more like uh, how to plan your uh, engagement party or something like that. Yeah. So do you yeah. think that's where it will continue to grow, or will you stick with this 20-something crowd? I think we're really fortunate and we're blessed yeah. <laughs> that our audience has grown up, grown up with us and is still just as loyal as they were in the beginning, like you guys are talking about uh, here, reading our blog. Yeah. Um, head pro. But, yeah, the head pro, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but we also ha still have a growing audience of college students, and um, we have people, like, we, ha we um, do a podcast called Die Starts Tomorrow, we had um, a woman write in, she's like, I'm 60 and I'm experiencing all of these issues that you really? guys are talking about. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. But, um, <laughs> but so the, yeah, <laughs> the, the audience, I think, while it's expanded, it's growing and as we are getting bigger, our voice sort of um, expands the reach right. of more than just the young millennial. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you guys, this is your third book. You have a very successful Instagram. Yeah. You've got your podcast. Is there one place that you're really focused on growing more or expanding more? Um, we, so so yeah. in the next year, we're working on growing our podcast. Mm -hmm. Over the past year, I think we've launched eight podcasts, yeah. and we have a few more in production. And the topics range anywhere from dating to wellness, like which we host, um, to politics. Mm -hmm. um, we just launched a true crime one, which is coming out with us like a second half of their season. So we're really focused on expanding. Um, we also are bringing in more outside talent. So one example of that would be we launched Comments by Celebs podcast. Um, and we're working on working with more comedians and that sort of thing, just to really make it a place where we can have a lot of really talented female voices and just bring more people under our umbrella. That's so impressive. You're really building your own media like conglomerate, which is so, I That's love seeing goal. like three <laughs> yeah. women, young women yeah. doing that. So well, thank, thank you. you. And when you guys started, like Instagram wasn't really a thing, but you guys kind of yeah. grew with Instagram and yeah. were able to get ad revenue from it. So now looking at social media, it seems like, yes, it's still big, but you guys are now looking at podcasts and creating yeah. content. Is that where this company is going? Yeah, we're yeah. definitely like always trying to keep up with you know what people are engaged in. We want to be where people are consuming information and where they're getting entertained. So podcasts seem like a very natural next extension for us. And we're, we're really loving the platform and being able to like really engage in funny and meaningful conversations yeah. and on we, there. And we also understand the risk of really just relying on one platform. Instagram can change any minute. We saw Facebook change like in, overnight. And that affected a lot of publishers. So we really don't want to rely solely on one platform. So that's why we're expanding into podcasts. We're um, investing a lot in our website and um, 
hopefully in TV. And the shop, day. too. Yeah. The yeah. shop, absolutely. I'm a mouse, duh. It's yes. definitely the <laughs> That's shirt best seller. dress I'm going to have. It's your best seller. Hilarious. I knew it. And I like the t shirt with I'm a batch. all of the Kardashian children's names. Yes. It's a very <laughs> important shirt. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've, and I've seen recently um, like funny videos on your account that like you guys have created like wow, with like Hannah Burner yeah. and things like yeah, that. And like, you. And me. <laughs> I, I've been in them, but oh. I'm not trying to plug yeah. myself. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I'm curious, like, do you see like a web series or something like that? Because I feel like your tone fits perfectly for like watching short form videos like that. Yeah, so we actually have a web series that we po we basically created and posted a teaser of. It's called Meme Girls, which you can actually watch on our IGTV or on our YouTube. Um, but we series like that, um, we're looking to make them into more extended long form content. It's really just a question of finding the right platform where all the eyes will go. Um, and if that's, you know, IGTV or YouTube or right. working with like a bigger company. So yeah, I mean, that is like a big time and money investment, but we think that we could really do yeah. good content in that form. When yeah. you guys come to work every day, are you like strolling in like, sup betches? Like do you call <laughs> each other betches? <laughs> is that like the Did phrase you no. yeah. I've, I've said You're like, I'm over that word? But I don't go betches yeah. to them. But our right. employees call us the betches, which I've learned from like overhearing. <laughs> We're our friends though. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. friends. Yeah. yeah. They, Meaning yeah, like, like the, the three bosses? Right. Meaning yeah. us. Yeah. your code word. Yeah. It's That's a term of indeed. Right. right. And we grew yeah. up together, so we have a lot of the same friends too. And then when they're referring to the three of us, they call us the betches. Yeah. 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 That, that makes sense. Yeah. I would like go to that yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's I feel like nice. it could be a good band name. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Well, I don't know if we're really Yeah, bring it back. But what I also think you guys are doing, you guys spoke to it, is like you're really trying to inform form this generation of women. I was looking at your site, you have a newsletter that's mostly political focused and it's very funny in your in your tone. And what was the decision to go beyond to do that? Cause that's like, people don't think newsletter, email newsletter is that kind of a modern thing, but I think it's important. Yeah, so when we started, Betches was highly apolitical. One of our early posts, which you, one of you might remember, is not keeping up with the news. <laughs> um, and we really wanted it to kind of be a place that was like free of those sort of serious topics and those opinions. But as the climate has changed in terms of how young women are more engaged in politics, we felt like we could easily speak to this and we could just put our voice to it and that people would really like it. So the SUP newsletter has been really growing yeah. and we have a podcast well, for that as well. Well, it's betchy to know what's up now. Yeah. 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 Sure. Like, right. I remember when Obama's campaign was change and you guys posted something about, about like change and you're like, not that change, the stupid fucking coins in my wallet. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Thanks for yeah. us. Yeah. You're welcome. So glad you could come. Yeah. Uh, Aline, Samantha, and Jordana, thanks so much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you.